Good evening. My name is Steve Steinmetz. I'm from the 2000. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. Let's let's get the intro. I'm roaring to go. It took me an extra year to get here, so I want to finish. All right, here you go, Steve. <laughs> Ever been in a new place, needed to find a building, and had absolutely no idea where you were going? You're not alone. And if you said no to that question, then you're probably lying. <laughs> the emergence of augmented reality, or AR, has presented an opportunity to potentially make such situations a thing of the past. The inclusion of modern GPS devices in phones combined with GIS data and a visual screen on a smartphone has opened up this area to wild possibilities. Presenter Steve Steinmetz will be showing us one such application, and I hope I'm not jumping the gun here, but I'm going to say it. Uh, this application that is currently being developed for use on UA campus with prospects to be used for a handful of different applications created for campus use. Your turn, Steve. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you, everyone, for remaining. I know it's been a long night. Um, my project this evening, as John just so nicely introduced, is create an augmented reality application for the iPhone. Um, well, we'll get started here. This evening, uh, I'm going to do an introduction and definition of what a augmented reality is. I'm going to describe my objectives, uh, discuss the data very briefly, uh, the technologies involved, the methodology for how I'm going to do this, a demonstration of the application itself, and a conclusion and credits. Augmented reality, or AR, is an enhanced version of reality created by the use of technology to overlay digital information on an image of something being viewed through a device such as a smartphone camera. My geographic area of interest is the University of Arizona. Here's a campus map showing the points. There's 248 buildings or points of interest in my case to be geolocated, annotated, and plotted. Augmented reality is uh, when augmentation superimposes names and distances onto campus buildings and provides directional feedback. Here you see the AR markers, each containing a specific building's title, bearing, and distance relative to the user. At the bottom of the screen is uh, the navigation bar displaying the user's heading. My objectives were to develop an AR iPhone application to navigate the UA main campus by determining the user's geographic location, retrieving the data based on their coordinates, and then overlaying the data on the phone's video output. The data specifically was provided by Grant McCormick, the UA Enterprise GIS Manager, in the form of a shapefile. From the initial uh, 818 uh, records inside, which uh, encompass the entire state, not just the main campus, I extracted a subset of 248 points of interest, uh, which was the main campus, and this is what came out of it. The general technology of creating an augmented reality uh, within a, the phone is uh, explained by the simple diagram. It shows the creation of the scene. The cell phone camera captures the actual scene geolocates the user through GPS, compass, and accelerometer, passes the information through the AR engine, renders the markers, and projects the augmented scene through the video player to the phone screen. My methodology was to acquire the geospatial data from the campus, for the campus data, uh, set up Xcode Swift development platform using Apple's integrated map kit, core location, and core motion frameworks, locate and incorporate an open source augmented reality software library, and develop the iPhone application to read the data, locate the user, and utilize the AR engine to display the augmented scene. Here is video captured from the actual application running on my iPhone. When the program starts, the augmented reality view begins with the floating markers naming the buildings and showing their bearings and distance in relation to the user. The markers stack with the closest buildings at the bottom of the screen, progressing upwards as distances increase. This way, the end user can quickly estimate distance and direction to their target. In the upper left-hand corner is a button, uh, which is designated as Map. In a moment, we'll see what happens when you press that. It brings up the alternate view, um, which uh, is an overhead satellite view of the UA campus, 
centered on the user's present location and incorporating pushpin style markers. When the markers are tapped, they display the name of the building and the distance away from the end user. Here I am in the wall, of course. In conclusion, the objective of this project was to create an AR application to pinpoint the user, name the buildings, navigate the UA main campus. Uh, I believe the objective was successfully met with the creation of this application. For further development, there's really endless possibilities. Um, as John also mentioned, we can expand the functionality to include improved navigation, uh, broaden the area covered, add additional points of interest, the various vegetation found in the Campus Arboretum, for example, uh, develop platforms for other products other than the Apple, and, and this is the credits. It's a nice brief presentation. University of Arizona, uh, MSGST program, thank you. Uh, Chris, John, and Jennifer, thank you for your ideas and your encouragement. Uh, Grant McCormick and Navid Ahmed for supplying the data and invaluable assistance. And uh, Daniel Hui uh, from Croatia for his open source AR library. Any questions? <laughs> we could do that. Yeah, actually, uh, this particular is a, a, it's a different type of AR, but that can be done as well. Absolutely. So with the bearings, I'm, I'm wondering, yes. so like people don't think in terms of bearings. Yes. Uh, like a strip across the top or some, some way that you would know which. Would yeah, it would be very simple, actually, to, uh, right now, it's, the bearing is probably the most precise way to do it because you're breaking down. Yeah. 360 degrees, but it could very easily be done with uh, directional as well, north, southwest, and, and moving as the person moves as well. Or so, just, I, I kept thinking of like if I had a little strip across the top of the screen that would just say I'm looking in this direction and that direction. Ah, okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. That's a yeah. great idea. Because I, I, I like seeing the information. I think Peter, Peter, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> that's, that's the problem with going last. <laughs> yeah, Peter was showing us some other applications that do similar kinds of things. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Media had one that worked with the, the, um, the Google Glasses. Oh, okay. Something similar, but, yes. but it was always difficult to see how that information is in relation to where I'm actually standing. Yes. And to be able, or to, be able to feel it, you know, not just yeah. see a, a statistical meaning of it. But mm -hmm. Yes, that moves as you move. That would sort of say. Yeah, well, it, it gives you a, a relative idea. Like yes. I want to know, like, it's 110 degrees out. Do I really want to walk to the police station? Or the ah, station? I see. You know, or, or yes. something like, you know, like, it helps decision making kind of a thing. Okay. Yeah. And, and nobody thinks in terms of distance and directions much anymore. With no, they don't. Technology. It's going to take me three minutes to get there, <laughs> or five minutes. And it's 120 degrees out. Yeah. No, that's a good point. Thank you. Uh, not only, not only is that true, Gary, but the reason I took this program to begin with is I have no sense of direction, absolutely zero. So maps are, yes, maps are very important for me, but that's true. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everyone.